Hi guys, this is Ziggy Boogie Doo with a PSP tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install and run Pops Loader for custom firmware 5.00m33-6. Okay, th this enables you to run P6 games in an eboot e file type. Okay, first you're going to go into the in well, click on the download link in the description. Will bring you to this page. Just click on the C plugins .ra and download it here. Once that's downloaded, just double click it and drag the folder out into the desktop. We've already done that. And enable plug in your PSP and enable USB connection. So I'm just going to do that now. Just going to do that. Because of remote joy light, messes around with it a bit. Okay, open folder new files, new files, and we, this is the root of the memory stick. We're just going to go into C plugins. If it's if it's not there, just drag this drag this folder into the root root. <laughs> if it, if you've already got plugins installed, just want to have to go into the pops.txt and write in this line here I'll put it into the description uh, don't worry about the one and drag the popsloader.prx into this folder and the popsloader into this folder here okay what you want to gonna want to do next is to Exit USB mode. Okay, so now what you want to do here is you want to fully turn off your PSP, hold the up trigger, up trigger, power trigger, and then hold down the R trigger and just turn the PSP on. And that should bring you to the recovery menu. Come down to plugins, and where it says pops, so drop PRX right there. You have to enable it. Mine's already enabled, but just enable it if it's disabled. And now I press back. Okay. Now you want to do is press exit. Okay, now that you've got that enabled, you're going to have to get some P6 eBoots. What you want to do is to put them on the de desktop. I've just got them in here. Let's see. Uh, Trash Bandicoot. It's just an eBoot file. It's just what it looks like. You want to put your PSP into USB mode. Should take too long. Oops, being stupid. Here we go. Okay. Stupid. Oh, there we go. Click on that. And go into PSP. Game. First, make a folder in here that has, has the name of the ROM. See, I have Tomba, Tomb Raider, Spyro, and Crash Bandicoot. And then just drag the eBoot into there. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to want to get out of USB mode. So, just wait a little sec. Wait, wait one second, and I'll be back on my PSP. Come down here to memory stick the game and it's a couple of my um custom made e boots and you just wanna hold the R trigger and press X and you only have to do it the first time and that will bring out the pop slider menu to select which firmware you wanna run it with. Most just work with the original flash. See here. Most work with the original from Flash. But I'll put a compatibility list in the description that says which firmware it runs best on. Just want to press X on the firmware. Start up. When you first start it up, it should be only small, about that big. 
So you want to go down to other settings and screen mode and full screen. It's like that it just adjusts the brightness and the volume and you don't need to worry about that. And yeah. Should load right through. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let me skip this. It's different for each crash, I'm pretty sure. Just showing you that it works. Damn. Oh well. And here we go. Just using the thing here. I'm just using this because my analog stick's broken. Okay guys. I'll see you in the next bit I guess. Bye.